What's going on, Star Citizens? 2TB Maverick here again, back at it with the ship stealing, as always. Today I confiscated myself a Cutlass Black. Made by Drac, it's a medium fighter, medium freight. According to the website, it's actually made for facilitating search and rescue missions. But it could also be used for many other things. It's actually uh, pretty well equipped and it's pretty comparable to the Freelancer as far as price. There's three different variants. There's the black, the red, and the blue as far as the Cutlass. The red is actually, it's a medical vessel. It's not ready yet, it is hangar ready. Then the Cutlass blue is actually for interdiction. Just some specifications, it's 29 meters in length. The beam is 26.5 meters, height is 10 meters. It's a size medium. 46 SCU as far as cargo capacity. That's gonna be your standard cargo units. The SCM speed's 170 meters per second. After burner speed is 1,113 meters per second. It has a two person crew. Now there is seating in the back for additional personnel. It has a medium radar, medium computer, medium fuel intake, medium fuel tank, medium quantum drive, medium jump module, medium quantum fuel tank. It has two times retro th thrusters, two times main thrusters, 26 times fixed maneuvering thrusters. It has a medium daybreak two medium cold snaps for the coolers, the day breaks, the power plant, and it has a medium stop. So it's actually equipped with the higher end components. Most of those are military. You do have four CF-227 Badger laser repeaters. Then you have a CF-337 Panzer laser repeater. And it's also equipped, I believe, a 24 Tempest 2s as far as missiles. What you're seeing here is the turret itself. You do have a cruise quarters, you have a weapon rack, blockers. It does come with a tractor beam as well. What you're seeing there is I'm just changing the different firing modes on the on the turret. You have the lockers on your left, I believe the weapon rack on your right, the bunks are to my right. You have two main doors, one on the right and one on the left. You also have a ramp in the back. Because I stole this ship from Port Olisar, it was just left sitting there at the back ramp. I pretty easily just got in, quantum drive about halfway to the quantum jump point. That way it would be very easy for him to come and find me. You have room for six in the back. I couldn't close the rear because it was a stolen ship. Whenever you steal a ship, you have no access to the outside doors. It has a pretty good cargo hold. Not as good as the Freelancer. The Freelancer has 66 SCU capability. But you can still make quite a bit of money using the Cutlass Black. It's probably one of the more popular ships that I see out there in the PU. I think it's a pretty neat looking ship. 
The reason why I prefer the Freelancer is strictly for the cargo capacity. I think this is actually a little bit cooler looking than the Freelancer. The Freelancer reminds me of a school bus. It flies a lot like one too. It's a pretty mean looking ship from the front. There's your missiles to the left and right of the cockpit. I think the way the cockpit's oriented is pretty cool too. How the pilot and co-pilot, the co-pilot actually sits above the pilot. For those of you considering purchasing this or the Freelancer, just think about what you want to do with it. I mean, are you looking to get in dogfights? Are you looking in being able to protect yourself but also make pretty, pretty healthy sized cargo runs? For me, I was more about cargo. Then again, I do have the Freelancer DUR, which is not out yet. Which will actually have a cargo size comparable to this. Just a larger quantum drive and whatnot. What really sets this apart from the Freelancer is the doors on the sides and also the room for personnel in the back. You could even probably fit a rover inside this thing. Your flares are online. I also think that's a pretty cool touch being able to get into the pilot seat and it actually raises you up as does the co-pilot. Because I'm such a nice guy at heart, I'm gonna go ahead and take this back to Port Olisar for him. I'm not gonna be a dick and go all over the universe with it. Let me at least get some joy riding in first. It's only a matter of time after this guy comes after me. It looks like with the latest patch the 3.0.1 it actually reset all your UEC so I went from having 1 million to 5,000 but that's expected with a even pre-alpha game I think is what we could call this at this point I was getting kind of bored with it at the time anyway so I resorted to stealing stuff and making YouTube videos but it looks like uh, I really don't mind going back through and buying everything again they took away all the rental items changed their website up quite a bit drive is now on. I really like how transparent they're being with the development of this game and how they're going to release so much ready versus telling you that so many things are going to be released on a certain date I would also be interested in more learning more a little bit about the uh, the red and the blue the blue actually says that it's uh, can have some kind of cells in the back possibly for arresting people. Taking prisoners, something like that. I'm really not sure what it meant. If anybody knows better, let me know in the chat. So it looks like I got interdicted by another Cutlass Black. It's very possible that this, this guy trying to come back and get his stuff I'm gonna try to lock on, maybe fire a missile or two. 
lately on certain servers I'm not able to fire missiles. So you really want to be careful whenever you get into a dogfight. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and get out of here. You can find me at Port Olisar. Alright guys, again, that's 22B Maverick. I appreciate you watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.